And congratulations, Valerie. We are pleased to offer you a spot in our school. Yes. No cops. Create a forgery. Okay, yeah, we're making forged artwork. And Vala sprained her ankle. My children are so frail. Their bones are like brittle. Okay, guys, before we get into today's video, I'm going to do something crazy. I'm actually going to be switching out my headset today, which for some reason, I always feel is like a really huge deal because you guys get used to like this look this is all you really see of me and i've been using this amazing headset for a long time which is the turtle beach stealth 600 gen 2 however it is time for an upgrade today i'm gonna be switching out to the turtle beach stealth 700 gen 2 max i don't know why i feel like saying it that way but max just makes me go max so here is my new headset and here is how it looks on. It's been a really long time since I've switched up the colors. So as you guys know, I have been using Turtle Beach headsets since I very first started my YouTube channel. I just love how great they sound and how they look and also how practical they are. And today I'm upgrading to the brand new Turtle Beach 700 Max models. So both the 600 and 700 Max are new models. They're compatible with Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, and of course, PC. And they're one of the few headsets on the market that allows this. So one headset really as you covered no matter where you play and what i love about them is they have a battery life of around 48 hours game time which is super useful for me because i wear them all day they come in an awesome collection of colors but i personally went for this cobalt blue edition just because i thought it was really pretty and i really love like the rose gold trim and the 700 max which is what i'm wearing also has the additional bluetooth which is great for me because i wander around wearing my headphones a lot and additionally they also have cooling gel ear cups which is pretty great for summertime so i'm gonna drop a link to the new headsets in the description below and just a reminder for you guys you can save 10% of all things turtle beach and all things rock out with code claire so make sure you use that code if you want to save 10% let me know what you think of my new headset and let's get into today's video so me and my is anyone else like doing this by the way on everything i like i just i just love tapping welcome uh, to the next episode not so very we're on episode 30 which is just freaking wild i will be doing this episode with my new headphones and everything's sounding beautiful iris just to use a tampon nice lovely way to start things and if you guys remember last episode brain did a little transformation just casually in the uh, in the living room here and kind of scared the bejesus out of everyone now he thinks his dad's really annoyed at him but his dad's actually trying to make amends he came around and like you know tried to knock on the door at his house and stuff so because i love the fact that they finally sort of patched up their relationship a little bit he's like tense because he's work withdrawals but i'm actually gonna retro say like retrofit that and say he's actually tense because he's so worried about his son so i'm gonna get him to give him a little call and a little text these guys are hanging out downstairs here i want to get val into school and i don't I don't know if i've now missed the period this is the problem with playing two families at once but it's the way we're gonna roll so i'm just gonna make sure that we can get val into a good school yeah okay go on your admissions tour and interview uh why don't you get Liv to take you because gordon's kind of stressed right now it is a saturday so we can also spend some time working on our personal statement as well and then bowen you guys actually i'm not gonna do this because it'll it's too early he's still doing his degree right now a lot of peaches linked me to a mod that allows me to do the veterinary career without having to do like build a whole vets which i really wanted to do so i'm just gonna double check that that mod worked there here it is veterinarian or vet veteranian which is what i want to say i don't know it's wrong but vet do you have a love for animals this was my dream job as a kid if so then this is the career for you you will need to put in a lot of hard work to get this hop but once you're there it'll be so rewarding your daily interactions with people and families and their beloved pets so make sure you perform well which is perfect i could join this right now but I'm going to do the degree first because I'm actually doing biology, which is perfect. Well, I know it's not perfect for veterinary science because you would just do veterinary science. It doesn't exist. So biology is pretty perfect. And also we're doing like this uh, side course. Like I can't remember the, the term for it. Like, oh my gosh, American uni terms really confuse me. But basically you've got your core degree here and then like your bowl degree at the side, like just extra credits, I guess. And he's doing pet training and tummy rubs. So it's all pretty much perfect. I'm actually going to get him upstairs work working on his presentation today, which he needs to do for always be selling. Always be oh, selling. Oh, I get it. Okay, you know, nice, 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 nice. We love a good pun. So I'll get him to keep working on that. He also wants to read three books. So I think what I'm going to do is gift him some vet books because it kind of makes sense. Wait, do we have a library in this house? Have I got a house with no library in it? If so, I'm literally so embarrassed right now. A house with no books. Can you imagine? Oh my gosh, we literally have no books. We've got a Roomba, a flat screen TV, fairy lights, everything you could ever dream of, and we have no books. Oh. <gasps> 
Oh my gosh, what have you guys been doing? So I ended up not going on a date with Genesis. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry to hear that. That if Bowen tried to set him up with somebody, we know why he's not going on a date with Genesis, by the way. It's because he's kind of in love with Luna and their faded mates. But that's a whole different series. Let's go ahead and not get into that right now. Okay, where would be a nice place to have a little bookcase? Honestly, here. But I think it's going to block this route. Where can I fit it in? I feel like this, we're kind of at capacity here. Maybe here and we can move the dog bed. I mean, the doggo always slept in our bedroom. Sorry, I'm like, I'm just hogging and I've got makeup at the same time. So I'm like, <laughs> So what I think I'll do is I'll, we'll like put it here instead. So let's go ahead and get a real trendy bookcase, a beautiful bookcase, or at least a matching bookcase. My, <laughs> my expectations keep lower and like, let's get a gorgeous bookcase. Okay, let's get a trendy bookcase. Okay, let's just get a bookcase. Let's just find something that fits, you know? I do like this new industrial bookcase that came with the Wolfies, but it doesn't really fit their aesthetic. Honestly, that's a little bit too big. I don't want it to be hanging off the edge here. It just looks like poor interior design choices, you know? I mean, I love that one, but it won't fit. Oh my gosh, like you can't spend the whole episode talking about bookcases. Nobody wants to hear that, you know? <laughs> Nobody wants to hear that at all. Okay, and we now have a bookcase. I'm so sorry. It took me so long to get a bookcase. Actually, unbelievable scenes. Gordon, you're going to head to work. You still need to, by the way. Oh, you got into a fight with someone at school over who is more powerful. Oh my gosh, literally when you're a parent, you have to like pretend to care about this stuff, don't you? Both are equally powerful. Yay, good job. Opal, do you have some homework to do? Yeah, why don't you go ahead and practice your vocabs? And I'm gonna buy you all of those veterinary books. Wait, is there a veterinary skill? Did I just fully hallucinate that? Why do I keep doing this? Keep imagining things in the game that actually aren't in the game at all. Okay, so I've looked and the things that you need for the veterinary career that I've specifically downloaded are dog training, which I cannot learn in a book. <laughs> Awesome, good job, Clara. Oh, biology, the ultimate course. Wow, look how expensive university. I've never bought a university textbook. This is just making me realize that I've never once done that. But look how expensive they are. But they are expensive in real life, like literally. And they're always written by the tutor. Like the guy teaching you wrote the book. And he's like, yes, you need to buy my 1,000 pound medical book. And it's like, oh, I wonder why. I wonder why you want us to buy this book. Okay, and then the other thing he needs is Charisma 101. So I'm going to buy him all of these books. It's expensive going to uni gang, but luckily this household can afford it. So I will give him his course, which is you just have to read this. Oh my gosh, imagine. Oh, he can use it. Oh my gosh. I've never done this. <laughs> I've never bought a course book before ever. I've always just studied on the PC. Okay, why don't you analyze your degree as well? That sounds like such a fun way to spend a Saturday, like literally so jealous of you right now. And Opal, can you do some dog looking after him today? Because usually Bowen would do it, but like he's he's doing really, really boring things right now. And apparently dad's dancing far too much. He's got his dancing feet on, so he can't help you. Plus he's got to work in 12 minutes. So, you know, actually that gives you 12 minutes to try and get some funds. Can you try and get some money out of anyone. What about this person with a tragic CC? Okay, we've got her on board. So let's try for a 100. I know she's a teenager, but she could come from a rich family. You never know. You never know. Do you want to give me some money for my political career? I feel so bad. Oh, it's because she fancies him. She Wait, can I try and get another 25 out of you then? Because she instantly got flirty. He's like that older, but like hot politician that, you know, apparently the teens love him. He's like, imagine if Bernie Sanders was sexy. He's that, basically. Because <laughs> he debated politics from the left, so. Can I get... Okay, brilliant. Right now you can go to work. I've just literally taken $125 from a teen. I feel kind of bad, but it is what it is. It's done now. So, I kept getting notifications, even in Wolfies, about Iris having children, which I can't see. I'm so confused by this. It keeps thinking her and her girlfriend are, like, expecting babies, and I don't understand where it's coming from. Neither of them are listed as having any children. So I don't know if it's some weird bug, but I also kind of feel like it's it's a sign. It feels like a sign that maybe they should. I don't know. I just kind of get that vibe. I was planning on moving Iris out on her own, but one thing I was thinking is, you no, know, the parents are kind of older now, and if anything happened to them, then it would just be Bowen looking after two children whilst also doing a university degree and starting a career, whereas Iris works from home. So it might make more sense for, like, her to be the one that, like, stays at home with them, I think. <gasps> and oh my gosh, Madeline, I forgot about Madeline. 
Okay, invite Madeline over. Have a little break from your biology book, which sounds real boring. I actually loved biology in school. I'm just not gonna sit and read a whole textbook from cover to cover. Certain sections I'd love reading, but like cover to cover, maybe a little bit much. And oh my gosh, it seems like Bowen is not the only one to have a crush on Madeline. Because Iris is also like, whoa, she's so gorgeous. And she seems so interesting and capable. No, independent and capable. And Madeline's like, Wow, your sister's so interesting. Oh, imagine. Imagine if we end up with Iris being with Madeline instead. She's more her type than her actual girlfriend, which is kind of funny. And you finished your personal statement. So does that mean you've now applied for higher education? Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Submit application. Boom, go for it. And I think I applied her for like the best school. So fingers crossed we hear back. She is an A student. She's super brainy. She's definitely got the same brains as Bowen. And she also looks up to him quite a lot. So... I think I feel good. I feel good about this. So I still don't really get what this whole baby situation is, but can I like ask her about things? Ask about WTDs. Oh my gosh, don't do that. <laughs> and don't break up. We're pretty, we're pretty happy right now, but I want to know like, does she want children? Like, why am I getting all these notifications? Something, something must be happening. I don't have any children. Okay. <gasps> And congratulations, Valerie. We are pleased to offer you a spot in our school. Yes! To secure place, a parent or guardian must use the phone on computer and officially enroll, without, enroll you within 24 hours. She's literally going to the elite private school, which is so exciting. Because that means she gets the cute uniform. Okay, let's see if she wants children. And whether they should, like, have a child. I don't know. They could do. They could do. If she's like, I absolutely don't want them, though, if... I'd like having children. Okay, so she would like having children. And so would Iris. Very interesting. Should we do a whole Leela, Lila, Lilac, Lila, Lila? She was called Lila, right? Lila and Molly situation. Let me know what you guys think. Let's enroll Val in school. It costs 750 simoleons. Today's an expensive day for education in this household. Even the book case is adding to that. And there's kind of a lot of people in this household. Okay, there's a lot of people in the household right now and Bowen's literally thinking about how cute Madeline is. So I might go on a little date because he is having a breathtaking encounter right now. And I don't think he's ever taken anyone out on a date before. This is his first like big date. He's been too busy studying this whole time. So it would be kind of nice, right? Okay, it's happening. We're going on a date. All of my like kids are like, well, my older kids at least are all like pairing off now. I guess this is part of being a parent, right? And okay, let's go to the Milicino restaurant because it's in the neighborhood. We actually took Madeline here when she was a kid all on by herself in the park, didn't we? <gasps> Cute. Let's go ahead, grab ourselves a little table. And I'm kind of feeling like Madeline's got the same look as she did when she was a teenager. So I might go ahead and give her a little adult uh, makeover. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, because this this just ain't really it. Now, she did say earlier, I asked her about her romantic preferences. And she said... She said your investment's coming up soon. I feel like she's fed us this lie since she was a child. But also that she likes the color pink. So I'm thinking something pink hair related. So let me just go ahead and give her a quick little va va -voom. I'm also, I think, going to give her a skin overlay that makes her look... I love that she's got this young face, but she still looks very teeny. So I might give her something that just makes her look a slightly, like, more her age now. Because I'm getting better at that. <laughs> Not everyone looks like teenagers as much as they did when I first started. Okay, so style-wise, I've tried to keep her as, like, could she be a character from Borderlands kind of vibes? And... I think she looks pretty good. She's just like a more grown-up version of her original style. I tried to do a makeup for like a puppy eyes as well. So let me know what you think of her in the comments below. The other thing I'm going to do in cast real quick is fix something I meant to do on Bowen, which was he was meant to get the vegetarian tray. It gave him bookworm because I didn't like technically age him up. Well, I did, but I wasn't in control of him. Now that I have, I can give him the vegetarian tray back, which I also think suits his future job really well, doesn't it? And, and he's given me his glasses on all outfits as well because they are just so cute. So we're here on our little date. The nice thing is that Gordon just got promoted to a non-profit director. So he's doing so... I'm going to collect another thousand pounds donations. But he's doing so well in his little job, which makes me really happy. I think he's like level eight now. Yeah, he's level eight of charity organizer. Just so nice because I don't think I've ever taken anyone down this career path before, like specifically on the charity organizer one. So that's really nice. We've learned that Madeline is unemployed, probably because she's trying to give this whole entrepreneur thing ago and i think with our sister being into her it's probably a good idea to get her out the house you know i'm gonna say like oh it's okay you're unemployed you should follow your dreams and do whichever job like you think will make you happy which is good for his charisma skill which is good because i need to up his charisma skill for his job we're both feeling kind of flirty i think i'm gonna get him to confess 
that he's always had an attraction to her. It's kind of a heavy thing to confess, but I don't think they've ever, like, specifically... Yeah, they're like... I don't think they've ever kissed or anything. Oh, although I appreciate your interest, Bowen, it's been one of those days. I'd prefer to talk about something else if you don't mind. Maybe her uh, entrepreneurial stuff's not doing so well. <laughs> I don't think she wants to talk work. She just wants to... Uh, have a little flirt and they're both feeling flirty so you know why not why not she's such a cute looking sim so is he which is super adorable so we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves some little drinkies some little foodies i always want to go on dates and sims but they just take so freaking long that i don't do it enough i also only ever seem to be able to get one course out of it before the game just decides to die so i'm just gonna go for dessert because why not it's half nine we're going for like a dessert day i think that's kind of cute and she really likes the color pink she keeps telling us how much she likes the color pink <laughs> we get that vapes we understand and i think it is great on him in a little bit because he's such an ambitious sim you know the fact that she doesn't like she's not worried too much about a career she's a little bit of a more free spirit than him that stresses him out a little bit but you know sometimes opposites attract we can't all be like super career driven you know now i feel like all of my children have this would be happy to have a child thing probably because they all had like such like nice childhoods so they're all like oh yeah children are great but that's not gonna be the same for everyone she didn't have a nice childhood oh rainberry aged up into an adult Ooh. so i want to like ask her if she wants kids one day so let's go to pregnancy and family and ask if they want children because if she doesn't that could be kind of a bummer for him or it might be something that he could like see if she changes her mind on over time they've not even kissed they're not even dating right now so it's still very early days and i can ask her to become her roommate oh my gosh they've literally just dropped all of our food on the floor oh my gosh does that mean we're not getting any oh my, my ice cream my macaroons they're gone no that's not good he's so hungry as well she did say that she doesn't want kids at the moment so she hasn't closed the door but she's like it's not something i'm thinking about right now which the young adults you know it's not a big deal but yeah like he can't ask her to be a roommate but like i kind of i don't want to move out right now i don't think he'd move out and leave little val would he and oh my gosh she's told us that she likes color pink again <laughs> I think she's told us three times in one day how much she, she really likes pink, guys. It's a big part of her personality. And finally, our food has actually arrived and it's not all over the floor, which is great because that was totally gross. Oh, and I think he just got an ice cream headache. He ate his ice cream too fast. Now, I don't know if any of you guys have got this bug, but one thing I've noticed recently, when I bring Sims on dates, they don't eat and drink their food, which... I just find really frustrating. So the whole day I'm eating and they're just like staring at me and their food never gets eaten, yet I still have to pay for it. So it's just really annoying. I don't know, it just really grinds my gears. And oh my gosh, it's like she heard me because then she's like self-consciously started eating all the food. Like, oh, I'm so sorry, I won't waste your food. I didn't realize I was doing that. <laughs> okay, so it feels like the day has gone really well. We've only got like a few minutes left, 10 minutes left. He's gonna be like, oh, I'll get this. But we still have a bit of time on our date, so I'd kind of like to, like, go out here together. This is where we came the very first day. Gold medal. And this is where we came the very first day that he ever met her. And after all this time, he's brought her back. Because he's like, we met then and became, you know, best friends. In fact, are you guys technically best friends? I feel like you guys should be best friends. Yeah, become best friends, please. But now he wants to be more than best friends with her. Because somewhere along the way... He's kind of fallen in love with her, so I'm gonna get him to ask whether she wants to be best friends, but also best but best girlfriends. No, also be girlfriend and boyfriend. And then I would, if she accepts that, I would like them to do a little first kiss. I don't know why she just whipped the snowsuit up. By the way, she has got the hips that we have literally not seen since Lilith. If you watch my O series, you know what I'm talking about. But that is a pure Lilith figure. Like her hips are literally so Lilith. So Lilith. And there we go. First kiss. So all in all, very successful day. He's feeling focused. He's feeling happy. He's feeling like he's having breathtaking encounters and hot dinner dates and everything's just going amazingly. He did think the restaurant was ugly though. And it's 2 a.m. in the morning. So I'm going to go send his little butt home. So that's now three of my five children kind of paired off. <laughs> Not that I'm trying to pair my children off. It's just kind of happening. Gordon's doing a happy I got promoted dance. However, I, I don't feel like Iris has met her forever person. I know that they're talking about kids, but I just, I don't know. I don't get really strong energy from their relationship, if I'm being honest. 
But yeah, it definitely feels like everyone's kind of uh, growing up, you know? And just as I say that, everyone in the house starts freezing. If all of their cameras turned and stared at me right now, I would be so creeped out. Okay, there we go. Just a weird little bug where everyone was just like, why are you trying to pair us off? And then they all went to sleep, so that's fine. Sometimes my Sims do this. They get like trapped behind the sofa. I really should fix that, but instead I just like to cheat them out. And since Iris has got a bunch of energy, and also I want to prove that, you know, she could, if anything happens to our parents, if they did die of old age, she could run this household and quite easily make enough money. She can earn pretty good money now with her freelancing job. So I'm going to do some art dealer escapades. No cops. Okay, so this is um this is a money laundering job. This one feels like a money laundering job as well. If you're a Debbie do good at don't bother applying. Okay. <laughs> It's good money and I kind of want to do some criminals. So let's do that. Create a forgery. Okay, yeah, we're making forged artwork. Cool. It's a new chapter for us. It's an interesting one. Let's do some forgeries. I wonder what happens if you get caught doing this. I'm so intrigued. I was like, yeah, she can definitely earn money from the family. Like, she's so responsible. Like, she could look after her siblings if she needed to. And then she immediately starts doing illegal activities. Good job. Oh, and the rain is, uh, not the rain, the snow is going to start melting. Unfortunately, that does mean, Opal, your snowman is probably going to melt that you were building today because it's spring. Hopefully the weather is going to start picking up and getting warmer. I think it is. We've got a birthday on Friday. We've also got the flower festival and a full moon coming up on Thursday as well. Okay, good to know. Bowen is working on his presentation again today. He's showing it to Minzy. <laughs> I mean, I guess if it's you're doing an animal related job, it's probably not going to be too bad to get some feedback from an animal. So good job. Going to get Liv to cook some tasty breakfast for everyone. I kind of like with there's so many Sims, I feel like some of them just kind of get lost each episode. Uh, and she was meant to be like, you know, housewife doing all the cooking and all that kind of thing. And I just haven't had as much time. So I'm going to get her on that. Rain's happy that we've landed a girlfriend. Thank you, Rain. And Vala sprained her ankle. You and like literally and Bowen are so similar because didn't he have like an injury for ages as well? Or was it Iris? I feel like a few of my kids have injured themselves at this point. But I don't even know when you exercised. I literally don't even know when you did that. But now you've sprained your ankle, so good job. None of my Sims have got sick, by the way. Since installing that sickness mod, nobody's ever got especially sick. We've had a few sprained ankles here and there. But other than that, nobody's been, like, especially ill, which is good, I guess. I mean, I kind of wanted it just for drama, but it hasn't happened. Everyone's in pretty good nick. Let's check out your art forgery. Oh my gosh, is this your forgery? It's actually excellent quality. I would totally, like, if I was in a museum, and I'd be like, yeah, that, that's artwork. That looks legit to me. So, geez, well done, Iris. We might find a hidden talent for you. Let's see if the client approves it. Are you just having a drink in the daytime as well? At 12.30? You've just gone full rogue. Okay. Oh my gosh, it got approved first time. Okay. We've found Iris's hidden talent. And they gave us some extra money as hush money. Okay, so Iris's new job, instead of just being freelance artist, is actually forging art and earning a ton of money from it. Good job. I'm gonna get feedback from Val on my presentation because it's looking pretty good. Um, We've got final exams in two days. Oh, and she has to go to the doctors. Okay, Val. You're gonna have to go to the doctors, I'm afraid. Doctor visit is needed for the ankle. You're cooling it off in the bath right now, but you gotta head to your doctor's appointment. My children are so frail! What am I feeding them? I don't get it. They get all these beautiful home-cooked meals and yet their bones are like brittle. Opal's out here having a snowball fight with her friend from school. But like, be careful. Don't don't actually get hit by any snowballs because your bones won't be able to take it. They will just like snap in half. So go easy, okay? And I kind of want her to be a bit of a naughty child. So I might like plan some mischief, you know? And oh my gosh, Val now needs surgery. Seriously, Val? <sighs> What? Please go easy. I'm, I literally was like, this mod doesn't cause any injuries at all. Like, no, none of my children, nothing's happened to them. And at this point, like literally now one of them's in an operation. So I kind of asked for that, didn't I? Okay, so I'm going to get these guys to plan to start unleash the gerbils, actually. I feel like Bowen might have access to some gerbils. He won't give it willingly, but I feel like maybe she knows she can get ger gerbils from his university so that they can release them at school. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that little evil laugh. So, oh my gosh. I feel like Cole was far too easily down to create evil. And Val's still in surgery. Oh my gosh, you've been in surgery for a while. I hope it's okay. Oh, yes, it was. Okay, it was successful. Well done, well done, well done. You are now in pain though, so let's get you some meds. Wait, I'm, I feel like one of my other children who's been sick in the past has meds. Yeah, children's paracetamol. It was Bowen that was sick before. And Bowen... <laughs> 
He's so keen on studying. He's gone to bed with the book. Why is the book still in your hand? I know you're like really gifted and you really like care about your future and it's amazing. But you don't, you don't have to sleep with the book, Bowen. Like we're not, no one expects this of you. Poor Val has to go to bed in pain because I can't give her any more painkillers yet. It's too close. And Opal is down here being stink. I'm like, if we do decide, you know, when the like the new part comes out with the high school, high school years, who is like a good candidate for that? Because Val will probably be too old by then. So maybe it's Opal that we send instead. She's still got four days left until she becomes a teenager. So she could be good. Or do we do an, like a completely original new character in a new save? What would you guys prefer for that? Let me know in the comments below. And geez, look at this. Val's new school starts at 7.30. 7.30 a.m. Go load yourself up with painkillers. I'm so sorry. On literally your first day at school. Wait, did that not do anything? Even the painkillers didn't help? Oh, geez, she's in a lot of pain. Her first day of school and she's literally just come out of the operation the day before. And like, look how she's like walking in because she's in so much pain. Like she's like, ow, ow. However, she's got her cute uniform on. She is going to amazing school. Good job. Well done. Why don't you try and make some friends at school? Oh, actually, you're a loner. I don't think you'd care so much. Actively participate instead. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling like maybe Opal would be a good one for that park the more I think about it. Because she's kind of a cheeky kid. She's already like, you know, getting up to all kinds of mischief at school. Wanting to release gerbils and stuff. So maybe we could kind of have her um, sneaking out and stuff. That would be quite cool, wouldn't it? Although I don't think it would be with these guys. I think they'll be gone at this point. So we'll be kind of sneaking out from Big Sister, wouldn't we? But let me know what you guys think of that idea. And next episode, Val's no longer a preteen now. I think she'll be aging. She is also feeling rebellious. So I might give her a little makeover if you guys have any suggestions for how you'd like to see her let me know in the comments below um i'm sorry not like a crazy amount of stuff has happened in this episode it's more just kind of like the bit in between but thank you again for letting me know about bowen's vet career that we can still do i still want him to do the degree first but i'm glad we can do that also i'm excited that he's had like his first proper date and now him and madeline are now officially dating so hopefully you guys still enjoyed it don't forget to check out the link below to get your hands on this headset and i'll see you guys soon Bye.